Hi, I'm James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, here to share and celebrate this wine with you today. So, first of all, I love this bottle. It's extremely well done, and for, the color's gorgeous. Um, just the, the um, this really cool like chalkboard writing here is, is really well done. And uh, this is a crew line of this producer called Erste und Neue, It's Zutiro Ato Adige, Zankt Magdalena, and uh, it's is called entitled Grubner Off, and this is a 2010 vintage again. Now, this is a 13.5% alcohol content wine. This wine is 93% um, Schiava or Vernach, can be called either, and 7% uh, Lagrain. Now, this is a really, when I opened this up, I thought, okay, this is going to be just so much more uh, vitreous. You're going to see right through this. This uh, Schiava is one of the lightest red grapes out there. It's amazingly um, very, very um, vitreous, very see through, very light colored and a light bodied wine as well, of course, you would expect that. And um, I think it's really, it's just is a gorgeous wine for pizza. This is a great wine for just, um, because it has the Lagrain, the 7%, it's bringing up a notch. It's giving a little more finesse and a little more complexity. And I think it's the beauty of this wine, is it just getting that flavor component, getting that, the uh, admixture of so many different uh, flavor notes. And I think that's a really nice quality of this wine. Love this region. I think it produces some phenomenally great um, dry wines. And this is a, um, a collective producer, uh, Erste und Neue. And I have another video where I talk about that and uh, the history behind that. So it's approximately about 112 years old. Um, actually, one of the collectives, it's a merged collective. Um, so it's two collectives, now one, Erste und Neue. Now, it's called Zant Magdalena. So often you're going to see, now on their website, they do uh, point out that this is Vernache. So Vernache can also, it's most often called Schiava. For whatever reason, I'm not sure why it's more often called Schiava, though this region, Zutiro Ato Adige, is a region that is really predominantly German-speaking part of Italy. And uh, I would think that Vernache would be the named call-out for this varietal, but it isn't. Uh, so when I saw it on, the, on that uh, the website, I was really impressed. So here we go. I'll take a taste of this wine and tell you what it's like. Beautiful wine where you just really want to let this, um, you know, suspend in your mouth just for a bit. And you can see the acids are a little bit pronounced. It's hard to talk after that. Um, just gorgeous notes of deep red uh, early season cherry, mountain strawberry fennel, cola, malabar pepper, and a hint of red rose petals. Now this wine is, um, it's just really evocative. It's just the sequencing of notes, the pulsing of notes. And that's where you get, you know, that, that, that beautiful quality if you suspend that in your mouth and, and don't rush through it. Not to say that I don't often rush through it, um, but, but sometimes I need to slow down just one step so you can really enjoy the quality and the essence of each wine that you, um, you find. Now, this is a wine that it's probably, you're going to find this at a, a good wine merchant or a, a well-stocked wine merchant, better said. And um, that is something where if they don't have it, you definitely ask them to bring it in. Please, would you bring in some Zant Magdalena or would you bring in wines from Alto de Jesus Tiro? Because I think that's the, the testament that I can tell you and quote unquote pontificate on how great these wines are. But until you actually try one, tasting is believing. And at that point, uh, you know, let your palate judge, let yourself decide if this wine is for you. But for me, and it's a really well crafted bottle of wine. This is a 9.0 out of a 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.